everyone has an opinion about Canadian federal politics. Oh yeah. Hey gang, what's up? Just Aaron right here, Question Period Canada. How y'all doing? We're bringing you some action from the House of Commons floor Question Period. It's always a wicked debate. Pierre Poliev is challenging Justin Trudeau on many of the issues in Canada. There's many other ministers and MPs that go head to head. So many questions, so few answers. Question Period Canada, let's take a peek at what's been happening in the House of Commons recently. Leader of the opposition. Nine years ago, the Prime Minister promised he could spend uncontrollably and there'd be a rich guy on a hill somewhere who would pay the bill. Yep. The middle class wouldn't have to pay. Well, what is the result? According to him, the total net worth of the richest Canadians has doubled since he took office. Meanwhile, 9 in 10 middle class Canadians are paying more tax. Housing costs have doubled, so 76% of middle class youth believe they'll never afford a home. 2 million people line up at a food bank because they can't afford to eat on a middle class salary. Given that he already broke this exact same promise over nine years, why should we believe him this time? Yeah. The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, if it didn't have real-world impacts on Canadians, it would almost be amusing to watch the Conservative leader tie himself in knots right. to try and justify voting in favour of advantages for the wealthy Canadians right. when they sell really profitable investments. Right. We're asking them to pay a little bit more so we can invest more in housing for young people to be able to have the same kinds of opportunities previous generations did. We're delivering dental care for over 200,000 seniors in just the last six weeks. We're delivering more spaces in child care. We're stepping up for Canadians. They're stepping up for the rich. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Real world impacts. Yep. That's what we have today after nine years of this Prime Minister promising to tax, borrow and spend us into fairness. But according to the StatsCan data he put out himself since he became Prime Minister, the net worth of the wealthiest Canadians has doubled. Why? Because the taxes he puts always land on the middle class. Nine in ten middle class people are paying higher taxes. The vast majority of Canadians and 100% of middle class are paying higher carbon tax, and his last round of small business tax hikes hit plumbers and electricians, not the rich. Why is it that every time he mentions the middle class, they get poor? Yeah. The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, our price on pollution delivers more money to 8 out of 10 Canadians right across the country with the Canada Carbon Rebate. Uh, and today, Mr. Speaker, there is an opportunity for everyone in this House to stand up and ask the wealthiest Canadians to pay a little more when they sell extremely profitable investments. We are doing that on this side of the House. The Conservatives will be protecting the advantage that is there for the wealthiest Canadians while we invest more in housing, while we invest more in dental care, while we invest more in Canadians who need it. Here, here. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Mr. Speaker, if you are a small business owner, you have even one dollar of investment gain, you Prime Minister is promising, because there's no exemption inside the 300,000 small businesses. And it's incredible that during a housing shortage, he wants to tax home builders. During a health care shortage, he wants to tax away our doctor, doctors. During a food price a sh uh, crisis, he wants to tax our farmers. And while our economy is shrinking more than any other con economy in the G7, he wants to tax our small business job creators. Mr. Speaker, isn't this the definition of insanity? Here, here, here. The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Since we put our budget forward, the Conservatives have been incredibly careful not to say a thing about the capital gains uh, uh, rate, rate that we're raising. Uh, they didn't want to talk about it for two full months, and today, when they are choosing to vote with the wealthiest Canadians and against young Canadians who need more housing, young Canadians who need a better break, seniors who need dental care, uh, they're all trying to spin it in nine different ways. The reality is they have an opportunity to vote with middle-class Canadians and they're choosing to vote against them. So gang, as you can see, things are out of control. They're chaotic on the House of Commons floor during Question Period Canada. Who's going to win this debate? 
Poliev, Trudeau, Jagmeet, The Block, who cares about The Block? Like, subscribe, share, get notified, all those fun things. Leave a comment, please. We love the comments. Until the next video, and there will be more videos. We'll catch you then. Thanks for watching this one. We'll see you next time.